Hi, today is day 294. We got a really fun stream. Unfortunately, I lost my rapid games during my stream. But we did have a lot of fun with my viewers arena and everything. So go join my club if you haven't and maybe you can participate in the arena next time. I normally don't do many club things, but you know, if we do have it, then why not? We got a guy from Turkey, I believe. And my window was so small playing bullet that this feels a little weird. Let's do it. Let's go the Sicilian. Okay, we got the Nightwerf, so let's go. We have been seeing a lot of Nightwerf. At least myself personally. Yeah, maybe not pre-move. Um, we're playing a little fast, but this is all the English setup. It's called the English attack. Very normal stuff. He plays Sicilia and you see a lot of this all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, King B1. Standard. Maybe King B1 first before G pawn. Where's he going? He comes here, I just take him. Let's push. I'm not sure about this move, yeah. Maybe a four, a four immediately. Get out of the way. Yeah, a four looks very nice now. Always take that knight when it lands there on c4. Just take him, take him. Just take, take, take him. Now this move. Or do I want to go here? If I go here after this, then I might have some problems if I take with the queen. So. He's not castling you, and that's crazy. He's not even castling. I don't know. Looks a little loose. Got an open file on the board. Looks a little loose. All right, we're going to take back. I can't take with a queen if they take with a bishop because of this square. But now we got some ideas to say the least. He's not castled. We're going to bring him here. Before there's ideas of always targeting the d-pawn and some Sicilians, but here I think we can just go for an attack on the king. Like just hit him with tempo, especially because he can't defend like that. We take son, he just... I guess he could take, yeah. But now the bishop doesn't cover f1, so we can put a rook here. Slide some sexy, sexy things over here. And kind of go for it. This is also a move, by the way. Whenever we have the d5 square, knight a5, knight c6, standard ideas. But now the knight covers those. So I don't know if I want my knight to go there. No. Yeah, this is coming, right? It's coming very fast. Let's go. Breaking it up. Oh, I forgot about that. Nasty. It's actually kind of nasty, though. He's going to take. But then this guy's hang, too. Yeah. He could take with Chuck. It's true. And then he could just go back. I did lose a pawn.
Maybe now this? This is all coming very fast. This knight is a little out of the attack. I misplay this a little bit. I always kind of mess it up. For sure. If I go here, he could weaken up another diagonal. I could do this, yeah? Yeah, let's get that knight in. I'm playing a little fast. Maybe it's a bullet. Yeah, I think maybe it's the bullet. <laughs> I'd love to land this knight here. Not a bad move. But now here, controlling the file. go here he has this if I take take and I come no I don't like it Do I push this now I also have this no 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 this queen is hang I cannot move the knight the queen is hang it'd be nice for them to do this but are they gonna oblige Then maybe knight f5? I am playing very fast. It's definitely the bullet. At first I recorded a video for you guys and I was so slow. It was not as slow as yesterday, but it was quite slow. And I was like, damn, I cannot be this slow every time though. So I want to come in like this, is my question. Not calculating too hard. But this already looks very bad. He can push. This looks very bad. Yes, he doesn't have a good square to go with the bishop, right? If he goes here, like, whatever he goes, I can just go here or take. And now I'm just two pawns up. I think, unless I miscalculated this. Yeah, if he goes here, also, same thing. I just take. If he doesn't do anything, then I'm just going to take again. Take. Just take the house or even take here. Even take here. And now Chuck, and I think that's mate, actually. Yeah, that's mate. Right. So let's go for this. I like his username. <laughs> There's like some creative usernames. Right? He doesn't really have a good square. His position's a little effed up right now. Like, honestly, I don't think I want this bishop. I think I want to take this guy. It's going to be very hard to defend this. I don't think it's possible to defend. Chuck. Chuck. 
Let's see what he does. I have a new poll out for you guys on who you're rooting for. For me, it's pretty obvious. And I already talked about it on my stream, but it's not even because it's like ethnic or national. It's just in terms of the player. Like, I feel like I know Ding better. Yeah, he has no choice but to take it, really. But now this. Okay, good move. This. And unless he sacks on me, which I take, then it's possible he could sack on me, right? So I think now I can even take this with Chuck. Oh, so hot. And if he takes this now, then Chuck. Let's sack the exchange back. If he doesn't take, I just come back down. I like this. He's not surviving this. He's not surviving this. Okay, now let's double up. Uh, he wins by, we won by resonation. Um, I haven't even found the finishing blow yet. <laughs> Let's just admit it, I have not found the finishing blow, but I'm pretty sure it's just this. Boom, made in two. <laughs> I think that's the finishing blow is a made in two though. <laughs> I was like, wait, he resigned. No, yeah, it's pretty obvious actually. It's pretty obvious. So, okay, good, GG. No, it's a nice game, really clutch, really smooth. I'm glad we had a win to show you because Lord knows a sloppy, slow games are something that... What's going on here? Oh my god, I'm watching this guy play bullet. Jeez. Okay. Um, I think all of these are book moves. Standard moves, standard moves, best moves. I hear everybody wants G4. Best moves. Now it's a bad idea. Yeah, F4 first before H4. Uh, take that guy, obviously take it. It's a common thing in the Sicilian. Whenever the guy forks us here, we just take it. Now F4 break. Mm-hmm. Wants D5 immediately. Yeah, this is a blunder. I think, yeah, because of this. We had to come in like that, kind of controlling this knight a little bit. Or to save our bishop, our dark sword bishop. Yeah, I didn't like that I got forked, but after what he did... I think he kind of misplayed it. Oh, nice. Queen staying on the second rank. Applying pressure. That's kind of hard to see. The queen coming in from behind our enemy lines. Like behind the lines and staying in our deep into our territory. This is a blunder because they could have just ignored us. And dealt with the bishop. Hitting it twice. Yeah, you have to think about the squares. The point of this move, even though it's wrong... The point of pushing g6 is because I wanted this with my queen. And I did not go in there like direct, like immediately. I was like, didn't, I was not that confident about it. But it's definitely loosening the king on another front, which we take advantage of. And after this, it's really GG'd. Yeah, he has to give up the rook. Let me show you what happens. So, like, for example, if he does a discovery, I don't want this thing. Okay? I don't want. To take a pawn. I don't even need to save it. Look what happens. Just watch and learn. Right? He can take our queen. But he's getting mated though. He's getting mated though. He's getting mated though. Oh, that's so nice. I wish I did it, honestly. 
Don't that look nice though? Don't that look nice though? Oh my god, look at this. So he spends time calculating here for good reason. It's just that this whole, it's too loose. The king is too loose. It's too loose. Loose kings get mated. Yeah, best moves. From here, it's very simple. All very forced. Okay. Okay, H8 is a mate. This is the simplest. This lolly's mate. This is back rank. Very nice, very nice. And I think I'm going to end you on that note or end this because I could keep going, but I also kind of want to chill out. And let's all watch the freaking world championship match, shall we? This is low elo chess, low level chess. Let's watch some high level chess tomorrow. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to miss the first few hours, but when I wake up, I will catch up. And since it's classical, nobody cares anyway. All right. Very excited. Very excited. Bye.